Hello there, my name is Sarah Clapp, and welcome back to Sarah's Corner. Today, some of you may think this the purpose of this video is kind of funny, but, in a way, but, it's not. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to operate a PlayStation Portable, also known as a PSP. Um, the reason for making this video <clears throat> is because when I first got my PSP, I just wish someone would have done this for me because I felt like a retard. As you can see, they're in these little, the games are also in these little cases, right? So, I just got Little Big Planet, you can see, here it is. And what I did, I thought you would take it out. You would have to take it out of the case, so I kind of cracked it open, and look. Look. I could I actually take the disc out. Actually, you can take the disc out of the... PSP, UMD drive thing, whatever it's called, because I'm a nervous wreck. So, <laughs> we just put this back in here. Now it skips a little bit sometimes, but it's okay. It's okay in general. But, yeah, so never do that. So, all of you that are watching, just please watch the video and then maybe subscribe. Okay, here we go. One settings. For um, this is settings. Did you, in the settings panel, you could perform a system update, USB connection. Video settings, photo settings, system settings, steam settings, date and time settings, power save settings, connected display settings, sound settings, security, RSV channel, and network settings. All of these are things that could be found in the settings. System update. If your system needs to be updated, click on it, but you may um, need to connect to the internet first. USB connection. This is where you take a wire and you plug it into your computer, into your PSP, you can download games or um, DLC from the PlayStation Store on MediaGo from your computer to your PlayStation Portable device. Video settings. You could change um, the games, I mean the, the videos. Um, you could change it to English or whatever language you want. The volume, audio language, etc. Photo settings. You could um, change the slide set speed. System settings. You could change your name, system language, character set. So you could pick many different ones. I just like to leave it, whatever one I feel like. UMD, color space, USB charge, etc. Theme settings. You could change your theme. Um, you could either have the original theme. Let's uh, I'll apply one of them. This is the original theme, as you can see. The classic theme. See, it looks a bit different. Tasty treat theme, which is kind of like a cookie theme, and custom theme. This is these are the themes that you could download. I downloaded the one for Little Big Planet, which is the game on the PlayStation. See, that's my regular theme. You can pick what color it is. See, you can pick like a bunch of these different ones. I pick brown. You can pick like red. But it doesn't affect mine. Background. Uh, original. Classic. Tasty treat. Custom theme. Or wallpaper. Date and time, to change your date and time, you shouldn't have to do that though, uh, after you already start it. Power save settings, uh, connected display settings, and none of these really matter, except for maybe network settings. Um, infrastructure mode, you know how to go it on, if you want to connect to the internet, you must pick a uh, Wi-Fi, and you pick one, these are all my Wi-Fis I connect to. And last thing for a security code, etc. You should learn how to set that up. And that's all for settings. Goodbye.
Step two, extras. Next, we will be reviewing the extras panel. The only thing on the extras panel so far, for me at least, is the digital comics. Um, when you click on it, it'll load. But, um, there may be some free ones, but what you do, you had to go to the PlayStation Store. I'll show you that in a little bit. But, see, um, I don't not have any digital comics to zero, but... What you do, you had to go to, you, well, what you had to do, you had to go to the PlayStation Store. When you load it, they have, um, you could um, download downloadable content um, uh, for games, add-ons, music, uh, movies, TV shows, um, digital comics, and more. Um, there may be a few free ones, I'm not sure, but... Most of them do cost money, which you can purchase with PlayStation Cash or with your credit card. Step 3. Photo. Next, we will be reviewing the photo panel. There are two options. Camera and memory stick. First, camera. I clicked on it. And it says select a uh, connected camera that is compatible with the PSP system. Um, you could buy a camera at probably at your local GameStop or some other stores. And you can connect it to the PSP and take pictures with it, kind of like a webcam. Um, then memory stick. I don't have any pictures, but you could um, uh, you have a memory stick. You could transfer them if you have. A, a cable that's come to the PSP, so you must have it if you have this. Well, if you bought it new, at least. Um, you connect it to your computer. What you do? They have this memory stick. You buy a memory stick. Uh, you buy a memory stick, and you put it right there in the PSP. Pop it in. Close the thing, and those are about, I don't know how much money they are exactly, but then you plug um, the PSP into the computer and then download it off of MediaGo probably. Or you can just download it right to the memory stick from your computer or your PS3 system. Step 4. Music. The next panel we will be re reviewing is the music panel. There's uh, three options, Music Unlimited, powered by Quaricity, Sense Me Channels, and Memory Stick. And Memory Stick. Let's do the first one. Volume up a little bit. Well, what this is, it has to try to connect to um a a um it has to try to connect to a uh, wireless internet connection. I this is a DNS server. That means I had to restart my router because I don't know why. Um, but what you gotta do, you can go on and I think you gotta pay for it though, and you could listen to some music. Um. Okay. So now. So sends me channels. This may also had to go on the internet to work. I'm not completely sure about that. If it does, I can't do it because I don't want to restart my router for this whole process. I think it's just a radio channel. It just plays random music. See? Hmm. Um. In the volume, okay. Well, I don't know why that's not working since there's no tracks that can be played. I think you might have to download those too from sensemechannels.com or something like that. I'm not completely sure. And memory stick. This is also you could buy uh, songs from 
media gum and download them right to your PSP and it'll go right on the memory stick. Step 5. Video. The next panel we will be reviewing today is the video panel. There's one option only, memory stick. Once you select it, I do not have any videos, but you can also download them from from MediaGo on the PS3 system or on the or on the computer. Step six, game. The next panel we will be reviewing is the game panel. <coughs> <coughs> there is four, um, uh, four. Options game sharing, save the utility, memory stick, and UMD, which is not showing for some reason right now because I do not have my game in. Um, first, we have game sharing. You cannot do this. Um, you, you can only do this if there's more than one player so you can play together. Save data utility, they have all your saved games and stuff. So, this is all my saved stuff. Um, PSP update, this is an official one update, but you don't need to. A memory stick, this is where they have games. Um, they have some games you could save games and like that you downloaded from the PlayStation Store right here on your memory stick and the games. Um, I have seven of them. Uh, they all work cool. Let's just select one. This one. This one is a arcade game called Athena. I want to show you this one. It's a mini game. The mini game. Let's wait for this to load. It's just a normal mini game. It's supposed to be a classic game, so this is Insta Core and everything. Cool theme. So, some of these games are pretty decent, though. See if it, I died. So I'm not gonna sh play the whole game the whole time. I'm just gonna continue showing you how to operate this. Next, and the last but not least is UMD. To do this, you you must need a. You not, must need. You must need. A memory stick or memory stick duo. Um, it depends on what PSP you have. And you must need a UMD disk. This is one. I have a little bit playing it right here right now. Uh, first, you must insert this. You cannot save any games or anything. And some games you can't even play without one of these. So I suggest you get one of these. As I showed you before, you put it in right, right here. So, put it in, and they have the game too. Okay, well, what you want to do, you want to put this whole thing, like this, into the thing and then shut it. When I first got it, I accidentally opened the case. I thought you were supposed to. I took the whole disc out. That is very bad. Do not do that. 
you want to just put the whole game with the case on it into the PSP. Close the back. And wait for it to load. And then it says it'll show you on if you wait for a second. It'll show a picture of the game, which is a little big planet. And I'll start loading. Well, it's loading. I don't want to wait for the whole uh, sucker language, depending on what game you have. Step 7. Network. The next panel we will be reviewing is the network panel. They have many options. Eight options. The first one is online instruction manuals. Well, we can't do this one right now because I do not feel like resetting my router and this sometimes requires that. Um, local location free player, which I think is some um kind of music player or something. Skype, which is you know what Skype is, you need a camera though. This is so uh, register the play. You could connect this to your uh, PlayStation 3 and then use it as a controller, internet radio, and internet search, internet browser. You need to get, um, be connected to a wireless internet connection for any of this to work, though. Step 8. PlayStation Network. The next panel we will be reviewing is also the last panel we will be reviewing. And the last one they have. Um, it's the PlayStation Network one. Um, they have three options, account management, PlayStation Store, and information board. Keep in mind that you needed a wireless internet connection to do all these. Account management, if you have a PlayStation Network account, um, you can go on here to check out your purchases and downloads and account information, billing address, etc. Um, thing is... A PlayStation Network account is a account you can make it to go on PlayStation Network. You can play online on the PSP or the PS3 and play with people all around the world. PlayStation Store, this is where you can go and buy stuff with PlayStation Cash or your credit card and download them right to your PSP. Information Board, this tells you some, um, some information. And this also uses Wi-Fi. You need to do it so I'm going to cancel that. So, thank you for watching my videos. I hope these videos helped you out a lot. And please subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.